Transport demand will more than double over the next 30 years. The world population keeps growing, and so do many economies. The pandemic has only brought a dip. Transport emissions will continue to grow. Even if all announced climate policies are put in place, CO2 emissions will grow by 16%. Any progress towards low carbon mobility is more than offset by the increased demand for mobility. We can. More ambitious policies could cut transport CO2 by 70%. Such a reduction would bring the international community's goal to limit global warming to 1.5 degree into reach. First of all, we need to align policies so they reinforce each other. Well-targeted economic stimulus packages should support decarbonisation and also strengthen the social cohesion of our societies. Secondly, policymakers need to raise their ambitions. The ITF Transport Outlook shows that more ambitious policies are feasible. We can cut transport emissions. There is no silver bullet for transport as a whole. We need to target transport modes with strategies that are geared to their emissions reduction potential. Urban mobility has many levers that can be pulled, for example. Technology is not the only answer, but without innovations, we will not succeed. Governments should do their best to support and accelerate the technological breakthroughs we need to decarbonize transport. Transport cannot succeed alone. Electric cars will only be emission-free if electricity production is. On the other hand, tourism and trade can only become sustainable with sustainable transport. We are all in this together, so we must break down silos and start to collaborate. <laughs>